What's up, everybody? We are back, and I'm going to be talking to you guys about another black exploitation classic film. This one is titled Slaughter's Big Ripoff, starring Jim Brown, Ed McMahon, Don Stroud, and uh, Brock Peters. Now, this film is a continuation of the 1972 film Slaughter, which also stars Jim Brown. And at this point, we see uh, Jim Brown's character, Slaughter, uh, he is relocated to Los Angeles, California, California, excuse me, after killing off a gangster in Mexico. Now, the cops know about this, they suspect it, and uh, after attending a lavish celebration uh, at his friend's house, he encounters a new crime boss who is uh, named Duncan. He's played by Ed, Ed McMahon, and he's now after slaughter for having killed an ex-mafia boss, Dominic Hofo. So uh, at this point, uh, Duncan is out to get him by any means necessary, and he kills Slaughter's friend with a headshot, which basically starts the shit. So Slaughter is now out for revenge, and Duncan has, uh, you know, rattled the cage, and the beast is out. So he hires a hitman, who is a top-notch hitman named Kirk, played by Don Stroud. Now, he is after Slaughter, and he's supposed to bring him down, but this is a big mistake on Duncan's end. So eventually, Slaughter uh, comes into contact with the police, and uh, Detective Reynolds warns Slaughter that his life is in danger. Detective Reynolds is played by Brock Peters. Throughout the film, uh, his girlfriend is also helping him, and he has uh, a sidekick who is a pimp, and um, his pimp friend eventually steals some documents. Uh, he breaks into the mafia headquarters and uh, helps Slaughter obtain some documents that are vital to bringing down the mob. Now, I don't want to spoil the rest of the film. All I can say is the film is definitely one that I would recommend, uh, especially if you're a Jim Brown fan or if you're a fan of the 1970s uh, cinema, especially the black exploitation films. Jim Brown is great as always, and the posters, I mean, the, these posters from the 70s are fantastic. Like I mentioned before, they're all art, but it basically summarizes the entire film in, in the posters. So uh, overall, the film, I would rate a 5 out of 10, and I was lucky enough to get a DVD quality film so I could watch, so that obviously impacted my rating, as it always does. Uh, would I recommend this film? Of course, uh, I just mentioned that. And if you guys have seen the film and you like what I have to say, then give me a thumbs up. If you didn't and you have a, an opposite opinion, then share your comments below. I'd like to hear what your thoughts are. If um, you do like the reviews and like what I'm putting out, then hit the subscribe button and subscribe to my channel. I just want to thank everybody else that keeps tuning in. Uh, to everybody that's staying loyal, thanks. And I'll be posting more films, especially more Jim Brown films in the future, let me know in the comments section below if there's anything you want to see. You know where to find me, the dude next door, posting movie reviews, and goodbye until next.